So I was talking to someone yesterday. And we were talking about just talking to other people. And I was explaining to her that, you know, that I tell people the truth. And I don't care about people getting mad at me, being offended by what I say, or their feelings being hurt, or any of those things. I tell them the truth, and I give it to them straight. I give it to them raw. I don't dilute it. I don't sugarcoat it, and I don't water it down. And in saying that, I was saying to her, that's love. Now, a lot of people will misinterpret that as being mean and hateful and rude and insensitive. But what it really is, is love. Because truth is the only thing in this life that can set you free. So if you're suffering in any kind of way, you're suffering because you're believing a lie or you're believing multiple lies and you've accepted these lies as true. Lies are the single cause of all suffering in this life. There is no other cause. And so only the truth can set someone free. And when you water down the truth, when you sugarcoat the truth, the truth, what you're really doing is watering down the truth's potency. You're diluting its power. You're making it weaker. And you're reducing the effectiveness of the truth or the truth's power to set that person free. So this person I was talking to, she was coming from a different place, though. She's focused on. She's more focused on how the person receives. What she says. So she carefully. Structures. Her sentences. Or her words. As well, with the hopes that she doesn't offend anyone, that she doesn't make anyone mad or upset anyone. And as I was thinking about that, what I realized is we're just coming from two totally different places. She's coming from a place of low self-esteem and insecurity. She's coming from a place where she doesn't love herself that much. She come, she's coming from a place where she doesn't accept herself. And so because she doesn't accept herself, she needs other people to accept her. So this is why she's so careful when she speaks. Because she's not really trying to set people free or give them truths that can set people free. Or really even trying to help people. She's more focused on being liked. She's more focused on being accepted. 
Whereas me, I'm I'm in a good place when it comes to loving myself and accepting myself. I'm in a good enough place to where I don't care if people accept me. I don't need people to accept me. I'm okay with people rejecting me. I'm okay with people being mad at me and not liking me because I like me. I accept me. I love me. I validate me. I affirm me. I don't need other people to validate or affirm me. And so I could speak the truth without diluting it confidently because I know that it's coming from a place of love. Doesn't matter how people misunderstand it or misinterpret it. I know my intention. I know what's inspiring me and my inspiration is love and see people really got love fucked up because because people tend to think that love is just being nice and being kind and it's just good feelings and that's none of those that's not love now like there's definitely a time to be nice and kind but if all you try to be is nice and kind, then you're unbalanced because there's another side to love. And that other side to love is being truthful. It's being honest. And that's the part of love that a lot of people got a problem with. That's the problem. That's the that's the part of love that a lot of people don't like. That's the part of love that a lot of people don't want to hear. Because for whatever reason, there is nothing more offensive to people in this world than the truth. And love speaks the truth. Love doesn't water down the truth or dilute it because ultimately love's intent is to help you. It's to set you free. It's for you to be successful and prosper and to be happy. Love wants to empower you. And so that's why love speaks the truth without watering it down, without diluting it. Love don't want to hurt your feelings. Love don't want to piss you off or make you mad. Love doesn't want to offend you. And really, when you really look at it, Love isn't offending you. Love isn't pissing you off or making you mad or any of the, or hurting your feelings. Love isn't doing that at all. You're doing that to yourself. Because of how you're receiving what's being said. Love doesn't control how you receive the message. You control how you receive the message. Love just sends the message. But you're the one that controls how you interpret it. It's your perspective that offends you. It's your interpretation. It's your thoughts that offend you and hurts your feelings. It's not love. 
It's your pride that causes you to be offended and that causes you your feelings to be hurt and that causes you to be angered by the truth. It's your pride that causes you to reject the truth and to not want to hear the truth. It's not love at all. It's not the way it's said. It's the way you receive it. It's disrespect is just an opinion. Being mean and hateful, these are just opinions. Because if, if I say something to you out of love, but you interpret it as being hateful, then your interpretation is off. Then you misunderstood me. Your assumptions or your judgments are incorrect. Now you can't tell me what my intentions were. You can't tell me the heart behind the words. And it's really arrogant to do so. And it's really foolish to think that you can do so. For you to think that you know how I meant what I said instead of asking me how I meant what I said is really arrogant and foolish and prideful. And those three that arrogance, that foolishness, and that pride that's what's holding you back that's why you're offended by the truth that's why you don't want to hear it that's why you can't accept it you can't receive it that's why you can't be corrected and in all of that that's why you can't be free that's why you can't grow. That's why you can't heal. So in thinking about, you know, my conversation with this person and, you know, thinking about what she was saying, I also realized that she's not even coming from a place of love. She said to me, I said, so what if you have a client and your client, you know, is complaining to you about something going on in their life and just say like like a sickness they're suffering a disease and you know that they're suffering this disease because of specific foods that they're eating and so she said well I would say well I would ask them well do you think that eating such and such could be contributing to the disease. And I said, well, what if they say no? She said she would respond with, okay, I received that. That is fucking hate. That is fucking hate. And personally, I don't want nobody like that in my life. You know why this person is suffering. And you can help them by telling them the truth. But you won't tell them the truth because you'd rather be liked and accepted than risking them being upset with you. By telling them this, by telling them the truth, by telling them this is your fault. It's because you're eating this, you're doing this to yourself. I don't know nobody like that in my life. Fuck away from me. 
If you see me struggling and suffering and and I come to you complaining, and I say I'm struggling because of this and you know that I'm struggling and suffering because of some shit that I'm doing to myself, some bad choices that I'm making. I need you to tell me. I want to know that. Because if I'm the problem, that means I can fix it. I can fix me. If I'm making bad decisions, I could change that. I can change the choices and the decisions that I make. Yeah, you get the fuck away from me. I don't want nobody like that in my life. Like, you can't be in my life. If I, as soon as I find out that's how you are, it's, it's a wrap. Putting distance between us. But do you see, like, and she thinks by agreeing with him and by being nice and kind that that's love. That's not love. That's hate. And if that person dies, like if that person were to die from that disease the whole time thinking it's because of X, Y, or Z. When she knew the exact reason this person was suffering from that disease and she could have told him or her, them, she could have told them and she withheld that information. That's not love. And so I learned a lot I feel like I learned a lot about people in general because most people that I listen to and just hear talking have that same perspective. Be nice. Be kind. Don't offend anyone. Don't hurt people's feelings. Don't be mean or rude or blah, blah, blah. And again, these are all... I think the word is subjective. And what I mean by that is, is these are just people's opinions. You know, if you think I'm mean, that's just your opinion. In order for that to be true, it would have to be the intention within for me to be mean to you. You think I'm hateful? Or anybody, not just me, like anybody. You think somebody's hateful, mean, rude, disrespectful? These are all opinions. None of these are factual. And they're all just assumptions. That have nothing to do with you. What you said or how you said it. I know a lot of people disagree, but it's the truth. It's the truth. And ultimately, it comes from a place of insecurity a lack of self-love, a lack of self-acceptance. And just an ignorance of knowing who you really are. Because when you love yourself, when you accept yourself, when you know who you are, it doesn't matter what people say or how they say it. It's irrelevant. It doesn't make you or break you. It doesn't move you or shake you it doesn't affect you like it has no influence on you because you know who you are you've already like you love yourself you accept yourself and you understand people that you know throw out these emotional judgments about other people about you I know when people do it about me I know they don't know me but I know me they don't know me because if you call me hateful you don't know me like why would I be offended by somebody judging me that doesn't even know me why would I be angered 
or feel disrespected or allow my feelings to be hurt by someone that's judging me that doesn't even know me, by someone that is judging me inaccurately. Doesn't even make sense. Right? So, uh, I just wanted to, it was on my mind this morning. I had a lot of things. I just been kind of laying here listening and listening. And, uh, that was just something I ended up making a video about. So, uh, if this makes it to YouTube, then, uh, you know, um, if you got some input on that, if you want to comment, like whatever, you, I mean, you know what to do, but, uh, I hope that, you know, if you listened to it, if you watched it, especially if you watched it all the way through, you know, I hope you got something out of it. I hope it helped you in some kind of way. 